It's internationally renowned and here in the UK is widely recognised as our leading centre for the teaching of deaf children. But Mary Hare School in Newbury also has a problem. Its primary and secondary school sites operate from some less than ideal buildings, which are several miles apart. They want to amalgamate by building a new primary school. It'll cost millions. And as Alan Sinclair reports, they'll have to raise every penny themselves. Small class sizes and expert tuition come at a price. Deaf children from up and down the country are boarders here with a £51,000 annual fee paid by their home council. It means that unlike schools run by their local education authority, Mary Hare stands alone. Anything it wants to do, any improvements it wants to make involve fundraising. Moving the primary school four miles across town to the secondary school site is the next big plan. We're already looking at various architects' plans and so on and, and finding, yeah, these things cost a lot of money and it's going to mean a big fundraising push. The school has thought outside the box to make improvements in the past. The Arlington Art Centre is a space for the pupils during school time, but outside those hours it's a business making money back for the school. Money that in recent years has helped fund new accommodation blocks for the older children and recently a refurbished and much improved swimming pool. Obviously in the water we don't have any of our hearing aid or cochlears on. So it was really hard to lip read and everything, whereas now we can lip read because it's much brighter. The pool also brings in money hired out to the wider community. But it's perhaps here where the school's lateral thinking is most evident. Mary Hare set up its own hearing aid repair shop 15 years ago, but it's now fixing hearing aids sent in from every part of the world. Another standalone business set up by and for the school uses state-of-the-art technology and 3D printers to manufacture the individually moulded earpieces for tens of thousands of NHS patients. It's a thriving business and half of the profits made by these spin-off companies are ploughed right back into the school. My predecessors recognised that, that there was a real need for schools like ours to diversify if they were to survive. And we always had plenty of good things we wanted to spend more money on for the, for the sake of the children's education. There's a long road yet before the new primary school is even granted planning permission, but the hope is to open by 2020. And this school has proven time and again that where there's a will, there's a way. Alan Sinclair, BBC South Today, Newbury.